Hey guys and welcome back to a new video on this channel. I'm Sabi from Code Revolution. So today I bring a new update for Aiomatic and uh, it is Chatbot Persona. So yeah, you heard this right. You will be able to use Chatbot Personas for your chatbot starting from the latest version of Aiomatic which is linked in this video's description. So go ahead guys and check the latest update and you will find this new tab chatbot persona selector and another new tab manage chatbot persona so if you make the update in a brand new wordpress site or you update your older plugin versions you will not have here listed any personas so let's go ahead and click delete all personas for now so i will get exactly the state that you are so you will see this message probably no chatbot personas added so you can click and add a new persona yourself or you can also click backup restore personas and click import default personas so this will actually start a longer process of importing personas and if you close this window and you will go to chatbot uh, and here click sync personas you will see that new personas will be appearing and these are the personas which come bundled with the plugin so this will be able to be used in the plugin and if we click on a persona we will see that we have actually a name for the persona a role and the prompt which will be sent to the ai chatbot which will tell it that hey how should this persona actually act and this is the avatar of the persona so you can change this customize this as you wish and you will be able to do this while also if you refresh this once again you will see that more personas are coming in totally i have at the moment 76 personas from where you can choose and this will be gradually imported to your site this will take a while so note that the importing of default personas using this button will take a, a while to complete just to refresh your site and see new personas coming in okay so now how to use these personas actually in your chatbot is that you click chatbot persona selector and you will see that now you will be able to set a name for the assistant a role for the assistant a context for the assistant which will tell the ai how should it act an avatar image and these are initial features username the name to assign to the user and first message of the ai which is sent automatically by it when the chat starts so now if we refresh this page we will see more and more personas appearing and these are the default personas which come bundled with the plugin as i already told you and because i started the importing process these are coming in gradually okay so now here at the bottom we have a preview of the chatbot and i have currently selected paxton the zoologist with this avatar and he tells us that hello how can i help you we can change paxton to other personas simply by going here to select the chatbot persona screen here and let's select this time quinn the philosopher for this click on quinn and this message will appear for you persona details set in settings please save settings to apply them so you will see that queen the philosopher and the queen context was applied to the settings here also queen's avatar was set all we have to do now is scroll down and click save settings and if we scroll once again down we see that queen was set as our chatbot persona and if we ask queen that hello who are you and ask him this and he will be able to reply that hello i am queen a philosopher who dwells deep into existential existential questions ethics 
and the nature of reality. So these are the responses from Quinn. We can also create our custom chatbots or chatbot personas simply by manage chatbot personas and add new persona. So for example, let's give a new name uh, Brando, Brandon for example, role should be WordPress plugin developer and context you are a WordPress plugin developer plugin developer give answers respecting this user this role you strive to create perfect PHP code and you are very passionate about programming in general okay so this is an example prompt we can also select an avatar we can upload our images or select an image from the media gallery we will see these images already in our gallery as the importer gets these images so let's just select an example image from here let me move myself out of the way a bit and uh, click save all we have to do is click save and our new brandon wordpress plugin developer persona appeared now let's go to persona selector and click on brandon and we applied our new persona and brandon the wordpress plugin developer was applied to our setting now save settings and if i for example let's inject on the front end our chatbot and if we go to the front end if i move myself to the other side of the screen we will see the chatbot here with brandon appearing how can i help you and now who are you if we ask brandon that hey who are you i am a wordpress plugin developer and how can i assist you okay so this is the major feature that was released in the <coughs> latest version of the plugin. Also this header was added to the chatbot. This little button will actually download the conversation as a text file. You can disable this if you go to the chatbot default styling, show chat lock txt file download button, you can set this to hide and if you click save settings the button will be disabled also if you don't want to show the header as i see as you can see here simply set show chatbot header to hide and the chatbot will revert to the old state how it was before the plugin update okay so keep in mind you can use the chatbot persona selector you can import personas Add new persona manually, sync personas, as you can see more and more personas are coming in as the importing process still did not finish, as almost finished as you can see as I told you that I have 76 personas right now with the one that I manually added with Brandon we should have 77 and here it is all personas are now imported into our plugin we can see that there are quite some personas available and uh, we will be able to use all of them so we can go to the next page of the personas and here it is all the personas will be available for you so this button deletes all personas delete selected personas with these checkboxes backup restore personas you can import personas from file backup personas to file add new persona sync persona and you can select the persona for usage also in the custom chatbot builder if you want to create a custom chatbot to be used on any of your pages you can use this new feature of personas here also you can set for example john a programmer 
and their settings will be automatically applied here in the settings of the plugin also all you need to do is copy the text here as it will be updated with the persona related settings that you set here so copy this short code and you will be able to add the chat button on any page or inject it directly on the front end, back end, or both with these settings from the chatbot website injection. Okay, so let me know what you think about this update. It is a major update as it adds persona support for the chatbot and uh, I think that this will greatly improve the usability of the chatbot which Aematic offers. Linked in this video's description. Don't forget to check Aematic, like, share, subscribe if you enjoyed these videos. If you have more ideas or suggestions, let me know in the comments. I read every comment and reply to them. So this is all for today. Thank you for watching. Until then, bye bye.